Good morning to all of you. I am Dr. V. Pungode, working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Mathematics at Saram University, Katanglutur. Today's topic is Types of Relation. There are five types of relation. Universal Relation, Void Relation, and Identity Relation, Inverse Relation, and Composition of Relation. All the five types with the example. I'm going to first what do you mean by universal relation Universal relation, a relation R on a set A is called as a universal relation. If R is nothing but A Cartesian product on A. So, example if A equal to 1, comma 2, so then R, how we have to write R is nothing but a cross A. So R is nothing but set of all A comma A. It's one comma one, one comma two. So two comma one, two comma two. This is the universal relation. Second definition is. void relation void is nothing but empty set phi we say it is void relation so void a relation r on a set a is called Void relation if R is a null set. R empty set. It's nothing but example if set of all a equal to three four five if a r b if and only if a plus b greater than ten so therefore r is a null set. Third example, third types of relation is identity relation.
Entity relation A relation or on a set A is said to be identity is called na identity relation if r is nothing but set of all a comma a such that a belongs to a and it is denoted by the symbol IA. It's called identity element. Example If set A equal to set of all 1, 2, and 3, R is nothing but identity element is nothing but 1 comma 1 so 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 with the same element it's called as an identity element same way fourth is inverse Fourth type of relation is inverse relation. When we say it is an inverse relation, we are able to find inverse. When R is an relation from From a set A to set B, with an inverse R is denoted by R inverse. is a ordered pair
ऑर्डर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम सेट बी टू सेट ए एग्जाम्पल सो वी यू कैन राइट मीन्स आर इनवर्स इज नथिंग बट सेट ऑफ ऑल बी कमा ए सच दट ए कमा बी बिलोंग्स टू आर For example, if a equal to two, three, and five, and b equal to six, eight, ten. And A R B if and only if A belongs to A, then divides divides B belongs to B. Then R we have to write it. R is nothing but It of all two is divisible by six. Two is divisible by eight. Two is divisible by ten. Same way, three when I write it, three is divisible by six. Only that's all. So five when I write it, five is divisible by only ten. So this is here R. So R inverse is nothing but changing the A comma B as B comma Y. So six comma two, eight comma two, ten comma two. So same way six comma three. So ten comma five. So last relation. It's nothing but. Composition of the relation. Last is relation is nothing but composition of the relation. composition if r is a relation from set a to set b and s is a relation from some another one more variable Yes, is a relation from set B to set C. Okay, then. R is a subset A cross B. They may S is a subset B cross C. Then the composition R and S 
is denoted by R composition S. Okay. So it can be write composition as A of R composition S of C. If for some For some B belongs to B For example, If R equal to one comma one, one comma three, and three comma two, three comma four, four comma two, we may S equal to two comma one. Three comma three, three comma four, four comma one. Find R composition on yes, yes composition R. So how to find it? So when we find it, R composition, yes, nothing but R composition is 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 3 comma 1, 4 comma 1. Our composition is one. When we yes, composition. R is nothing but two comma one, two comma three, three comma two, three comma four, four comma one, and four comma three. Thank you.